Good morning everyone. So now we are going to have the uh, discussion uh, related to the uh, squares of two and three digit numbers. So we will be practicing on certain numbers and we will also learn a uh, few more tricks, uh, you know, a few more methods by which you can effectively do the uh, squares of these numbers. So let us, uh, you know, uh, come to this uh, lecture of practicing squares of two and three digit numbers. And uh, in that uh, we will one by one see the uh, two and three digit numbers and what aspects we need to consider, what we need to focus while getting the results. So that we will try to uh, see. So we are uh, going to a white screen and then uh, we will be starting with a two digit number so say you have a two digit number like 23 so we all know that it is 529 now the thing is that if you have uh, uh, you know 20 so we have already discussed that 23 23 since it is having behavior of 5 uh, so the square behavior will be 7 so what is there now you see uh, last digit has to be 9 so that we know that if there is a 3 in the unit digit at the unit place in the square there has to be 9. Now the thing is that uh, what should be the second and what should be the third digit so virtually there are 5 you know uh, there has to be 4 digits uh, if you make a 2 digit square but certainly uh, up to you know 31 you get only 1 digit so 31 square is 961 and then you 32 square becomes uh, 1024 so this is having 3 digit and this is having 4 digit so uh, so before 31 you will have only 3 digits and before 30 after 31 it will be a four digits now you see what uh, you uh, what needs to be done is that uh, once you have put here the nine now the thing is that uh, if you uh, we hope that you remember the squares up to 1 to 25 if you know the squares of up to 1 to 25 then it will be very easier for you to get the last two digit of any square number. So you know that up to 20, you know 21 is 441, 22 is 484, 23 is 529, 24 is 576. So you know we can write 21 is 441, 22 is 484, 23 is 529 and 24 is 576. And then 25, obviously, you know that it will be 625. Now, you can use all these, this, uh, if you know the uh, square of numbers up to uh, 25, it will be easier for you to come to this. So, as you see, you see that 23 square is 529. So, last two digit is known to you. And, uh, and then, uh, last two digit, if you know, now you see why 5 will come. So, uh, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So, some digit will come in between 4 and 9. What should come? I, uh, whether it will be 529, whether it will be 629, whether it will be 729, whether it will be 829 or it cannot be 929 because it cannot be more than 9. So, because it has to reach 230. Now, the thing is that you see its behavior is 2. And your ultimate behavior of the square number has to be 7. So, the number which you are going to put here, it must have a behavior of 5, so that altogether it has behavior of 7. Now, between 4 and 9, the number which has the behavior of 5 is 5. So, that's why it is 529. And that's how, you know, 629 cannot be because it has a behavior of 8. So it cannot be 729 has behavior of 9. This also cannot be 829 has behavior of 1. So this cannot be although they are eligible for becoming the squares because they have but still this is eligible and and, and this has not eligibility although it has behavior of 1 but it has not no eligibility because once you have 29 before that there must be odd number. 
okay it means this number must be multiple of 4 then only such number become the eligible for becoming a square number so that's how 529 is becoming eligible so let us go to any squares suppose say 74 square now you see you have to understand the concept of these numbers uh, as we have seen that we have odd numbers of two type 4 and plus 1 and 4 and plus 3 similarly you have even number also of two type 4 n and 4 n plus 2 okay so uh, when you do the squares the squares can have uh, the behavior only 4 n plus 1 it squares of any number cannot be having behavior of 4 n plus 3 similarly even numbers behavior uh, square will have only behavior of 4 n now you have to see the, the complement of the numbers and complement you can uh, you have to find with respect to either you have to see that it is either with respect to 25 uh, 50 or 75 or 100 so you have to see that this number you have chosen it is uh, the it is close to which number with whom you have to find the complement so 74 as you see 74 is very much close to 75 and uh, it may be plus or may be minus then that does not make much difference so if it is uh, it's uh, it is, its complement is 1 with respect to 74 5 so 1 square is uh, 1 okay fine now the thing is that you have to see the last two digit you have to add now that will be either 1 or 26 or 51 or 76 so this last four digit has to be either 1 or 26 you add 25 or 51 or 76 now if your number is a even number this does not fit into it so this fits and if your number is an odd number this does not fit into it this fits so either it will be either 1 0 1 or it will be 76 so you have to put here since it is an even number you will put 76 here now you have to see that which number needs to be put here it, it, it has to be a two digit number now this number will be varying from 49 and it will be going up to 64 and you have to see that which of the digit now see its its behavior is 4 and so and, and ultimately this number has its square has to have the behavior of 4 so the number which you are going to add this must be only 9 so that behavior remains unaltered so in that case after 49 you have plus 5 that is 54 so that will be basically the 54 76 will be a square of uh, you know uh, of 74 now you can say that after 54 even you could have gone for 6376 so you have to use your intelligence by thinking that if this number you know 75 square is 5625 75 square will be in between you know 49 and 64 you know that when you have 5 uh, at the unit place and you do the squares it will be 7 into 8 so 56 it has so if it is more than 75 it will be uh, uh, you know uh, more than 56 and if it is less than uh, 75 it has to be lesser than 56 in between 49 and 56 so that needs to be seen while uh, finding the squares the same concept you can use for it is quite simple 76 squares so you see 76 square again you will have on these last two digits you will have 76 because 76 is only one more to uh, you know 75 not only a complement you have to see whether it is plus or minus so it does not make much difference when you do the squares so you will have 76 here and, and then you have to add the two digits and you see that its uh, behavior has to be 7 
and you get 4 here so this behavior needs to be 3 so after and it must come after 56 so after 56 only it is 57 so this way you can uh, get the very comfortably you can get the square of uh, two digit numbers and you can also confer come to uh, the uh, the uh, square of uh, the three digit numbers so if you go to uh, a three digit number like uh, uh, you have uh, you know, 389 say it's a square now in three digit number as you have understood if you know the two digits so you will have in fact uh, normally you must have uh, uh, three uh, three digit square must have six places if it is again uh, you know uh, in between 300 so around 317 318 it shifts to uh, you know six digits otherwise you have only five digits so let us take uh, the six digits so what you see is uh, you you know that uh, this last two digits 89 square is 7921 so this is required to be understood so 89 square is 7921 so you have to add 21 here and then 79 you keep in mind and uh, then what you do is 89 again you uh, you uh, see you have to read two times so that will be uh, 500 uh, 34 and then you have to add 79 so it will be 613 okay so you have to put this 13 here and then 6 you add here so this is uh, one way this is basically the Urdh Tiryak uh, rule itself where you have used this uh, number as two digit number one is 3 another is 89 and that way you have done Second thing is, second again, what uh, based on what we have st uh, studied earlier, if you go for 389 square, so as you see, you have six digits. You know that you have uh, 21 here coming. Now, uh, what you have to see is that what will be your third digit? So third digit will be nothing but you see 3 into 9 and uh, you will have uh, 27 into 2 that is 54 so this will be 54 and plus 79 so 54 4 plus 79 you know that it will it will be having uh, a digit of 3 only towards the end so you can understand how your third term comes that is quite simple you just remember if it is 79 29 so you remember 9 and then you do the multiplication of this and this and multiply it by 2 and then add these two numbers 3 into 9 into 2 plus 9 so that will be having 3 that 3 digits you know now you have to add another 3 digits here now this can be understood you see you know 38 square is 1444 4, 4, and 39 square is 1521 so basically uh, you will have some number which will be close to the range of 148 to 152 because 148 will be somewhere close to 38.5 square and it is close to 39. Now you have to see what will be the number here. So that can be ascertained by having the behavior known. Now this is, has a behavior of 2 so its square will have a behavior of 4. This is already 6. So this is 6 it means its behavior has to be 7 and in this range the number which has a behavior of 7 is 151. So quickly you come to the square of this number that is 151321. So this can this concept can be used very effectively to have the square of any number you can have square of 773 so 773 you will have last two digit as 29 you have 53 uh, left and then uh, you have 773 so 73 into 2 so 42 plus 53 so third digit will be 5 and then you have to uh, see 773 means 592 uh, and 2 uh, 78 square is 608 so in between 592 and 608 middle will be something close to 
uh, you know 600 so 7592 and 600 you have to take the number effectively in that way that your behavior matches so 773 you have 529 coming so you will have another accordingly you can have so uh, the number you can choose so that the behavior ultimately comes as one so you will have seven on that side so you have to take the number of three so after you know uh, you have to 592 you have to take the number which has uh, a behavior of three and uh, that will be your uh, 597 so you will have 597 529 like that you can just check whether this is right or not so that way you uh, do the practice and you get confidence of having the squares of two or three digit numbers and you will be feeling comfortable day by day. Thank you very much.